okay uh, hi hi welcome to our video tutorial uh, in this video tutorial we're going to see how to implement uh, inheritance concept uh, using python okay so first let's uh, let's see what inheritance is okay so so we have uh, in the previous videos we are using a, a class person and we are we were trying to create instance of class person right so now let's try to implement inheritance in that class okay so what inheritance is let's say we have a, cal a class called person so every person will have attributes like full name age and gender right okay now we can still have different groups person is a group right from that group we can create different type of instance or different instances of a person but we can still uh, lower the group inside a person we can have other groups as well let's say student student is a group okay so every student is a person right so student inherits from person which means every student will have full name age and gender in addition will have grade grade only applies for student okay one other thing police okay so police is another group it can be another class it's still a person right every police is a person will have full name age and gender but in addition to that will have badge number okay excuse me if i made a spelling error here badge number not every person has badge number right only police will have badge number like only students will have grade attributes okay now what we can do is we can create a class called police and we'll include attributes full name age gender and badge number and create another class called student and create full name age gender and grade attributes but look now we are duplicating efforts we are creating these three variables in both classes why are we going to duplicate those so there is a better way we can create these variables once and use them twice that's what inheritance is about this is one of the advantages of course it's not necessarily the only advantage but this is one of and i think the main advantage of inheritance minimizing duplicate of work so what we can do is we create a class called person and provide the common values common attributes like full name age and gender and we and then we create a class student and told, uh, tell this student class that it uses a class called person which means this class student also inherits or also implements those attributes without creating them inside this class i can refer these attributes using the parent class which means student class inherits person class and also police class inherits person class this is what inheritance is about help uh, i haven't made it worse Okay.
So now let's go to our code and create a new file. using inheritance okay so here we're going to create three classes the first one is class person and this class will contain three attributes right so let's define our initialization function full name attributes edge attributes and gender attributes so self dot full full name is full name variable self dot edge equals edge variable self dot gender equals gender variable Okay, now let's create a new class. Class, okay, now class student in parentheses. This class uses person class. Now we create our initialization function, and this class requires only grade attributes all the three attributes are going to be inherited from the class person this is what inheritance is about now we are minimizing effort okay so now self dot grade is going to be great let's create our another class Okay, another class called police and this class also inherits person class so define initialization function which takes page number as its attributes so self dot badge number equals badge number attributes okay so now we have three class okay now what we can do is we can create an instance of student let's say student one is student okay now we provide so the student's grade is uh, let's say grade 7 okay okay so now student 1 will have 7 for its grade attributes what about the three attributes every student should have full name age and gender so what we can do is student 1 dots now as you can see pie chart understands the relationship of the classes so it gives me all the three attributes from the parent class called person parent class of student class right so now parent student one dot full name equal to bracket student one dot age equal to mm, let's say 12 student one dot gender equal to male now we can show the output of our student one class okay now uh, let's create a method in our function define okay show detail 
and what it does is it takes self parameter now what this function does is it prints the variables full name self dot full name let's copy and paste this so edge and gender i want to show so edge is edge gender is gender now here after assigning all the values for student one let's try to use student one dots the function called show detail right now this show detail function will show me okay full name barakat concatenates str not int oh sorry here when I when I want to uh, print self dot edge self dot edge is provided as an integer because when I create uh, when I set the value edge I give it as an integer so I have to convert this value to string so I can use str function to convert any value to a string let's run our application again there you go so now full name is barakat age 12 gray gender male now if we create another function in our student class let's call it show grade and in here it's only prints grade right so grade equals since grade is an integer as well we have to provide string now self dot grade so in show grade here student one dot i can say show grade now let's run our application there you go our grade value is going to, is included as well so this is how we implement inheritance in python okay so i hope it's clear uh, we have seen uh, the general concept of inheritance uh, in object oriented and also we have seen how to implement the inheritance concept uh, in python uh, I really hope it's clear uh, if you have any questions comments or suggestions about our videos or specific video or in general please leave us a comment in the comment section below uh, thank you very much for watching